The video you're about to see, guys, is sponsored by the EA Game Changers, a network which I'm a part of, where I'm able to bring you guys early content, get behind closed doors, and uh, thankfully, guys, I was invited to Gamescom by EA, where they covered my flights, my hotel, and my meals as well, um, and give me the chance to get some early FIFA 18 videos for you guys to enjoy. So here we are guys, the first FIFA 18 tutorial on my channel. Massive thank you to you for letting me get this footage at the Gamescom event which I did intend in Germany. So, we are doing penalties today. We saw a massive change in the system in the previous FIFA which was FIFA 17. A lot more manual, a lot more harder to get used to and there's been one massive change this time around as well which is the fact that the only way that you can start a penalty animation is by pressing the shoot button and then after that you need to start deciding which way you are going to go so in this video I am going to try and help you as much as I can in terms of trying to get the most success from the penalty spot as you guys potentially can you know that I had a really rough year when it came to FIFA 17 with penalties but hopefully that is going to be completely different with FIFA 18 so like I said guys the only major difference between FIFA 17 and FIFA 18 penalties is the fact that you've got to press the shoot button before you do anything else FIFA 17 was you would do all the run-ups, do all the good stuff, and then press the shoot button at the last minute. But that isn't the case in FIFA 18. So you guys are going to have to start getting used to that pretty quickly. I will be showing you hints and tips of what to do, when to press certain buttons, and hopefully you guys will get better from the penalty spot. So in the clips in the background, guys, you are seeing the skill uh, skill games where we're able to do the penalties on there. You will notice, and it is worth keeping an eye out, guys, on Cristiano Ronaldo's player bar on the bottom left of your screen. You can see when the power button is pressed, and then you can see that I am activating the penalty run-up and everything else like that. And it's going to be all the way throughout this penalty tutorial, guys, as I have used Cristiano Ronaldo in every single opportunity just because I like using Madrid and I like using Ronaldo so in the skill games there's a reason that I added these in because a lot of people go straight into games they aim to get the best out of um, like in in-game uh, situations where they're like forced to learn that way but I would honestly recommend when it comes to penalties when it comes to set pieces definitely go in the skill games have a play around especially with the change that they've made this year and try and get your penalty game locked down and uh, ready to take into the online mode or even uh, career mode that you guys want to get uh, want, want to do um, but this is going to be the way which I would really recommend doing it and it's the way I did it at the start as well before then moving on into a real um, game situation where you may get dropped in the area and you are resulted with a penalty. So here is a real life, a real game, sorry, situation where uh, Boateng has just dropped one of my attacking players within the area. We are resulted in a penalty and the first type of penalty that we are going to take, guys, is the finesse penalty. The reason why I've chose this one first is because the finesse penalty gives better accuracy when it comes to putting it either the bottom corner, um, the top corner or even down the middle. And uh, more than likely, guys, you are going to probably score off this dependent on if your goalkeeper, or sorry, your opponent's goalkeeper does guess the right way. That's what penalties are all about, guys. Trying to outguess the goalkeeper and uh, putting it straight into the back of the net. So like I said at the start guys, the shoot button has to be pressed instantly. The type of penalty we're doing is the finesse one. For this to happen guys, you need to press the R1 or the RB button and then put the amount of power you do want on the shot. Obviously when it comes to power, for the lower um, corner of the shots and to keep it lower to the ground, you're going to put less power on it, maybe about one bar. If you're looking to put it into the top corners, uh, high out of the way of the goalkeeper, you are probably going to be looking for two to two and a half bars of power just to try and beat it. Now one of the benefits of doing the finesse penalty guys is the fact it adds a little bit of curve onto it so if it does potentially hit the goalkeeper there's still a chance that it could go in. So like I said guys you will press the RB or R1 button you will then press the shoot button 
to start your run up and that is your shot type locked in what you've got to concentrate on doing now guys is the run up and getting it into the left the right or the middle and definitely within two posts and the bar so then you would use the left analog stick to go between probably a 30 degree angle on the analog stick guys keeping it in within the post um, obviously trying to uh, outdo your goalkeeper you can even add some important stutters speed up slow down type of penalties depending on what you want to do but we'll cover that later on in the video so the next penalty we are looking at guys is the power penalty the one which we don't really care about finessing chipping all that good stuff we literally just want to put as much power on as we can and try and beat the goalkeeper with power now the problem with that is guys it takes a little bit more mastering to do so the reason being it can be a little bit wild unless you're properly used to it so this is the one i would recommend doing in the skill games But we do have an example here in front of us, guys, of how to do it. Literally, the only thing you have to do, guys, is power up the penalty between two bars and three bar power. Um, two bars being, obviously, like the mid-range, uh, mid-level of the goal. And uh, three bars, hopefully, being in the top bins, depending on the angle of your run-up. We can see that Ronaldo's put two bars of power on. We're going to continue the run-up. Now, what we have to do to continue the run-up, guys, is hold the RT button or the R2. That is the back button on the controller of Xbox and PlayStation. With that, you speed up your run. You are really fast at running towards the ball a lot quicker than you would be normally. And uh, you can tell with the type of shot that he does take, guys, it is completely levered. And thankfully, we are able to uh, go the wrong side of the goalkeeper and get it into the back of the net. The next type of penalty, and probably the cheekiest penalty you, you guys will see in FIFA 18, is the chipped penalty. I would probably avoid doing this one unless you are obviously um, trying to antagonize your opponents that a little bit more and uh, obviously trying to uh, embarrass them that tad bit. The chip penalty is one which you rarely see when it comes to real life football and the same with FIFA as well. And I would only really do this if you're in a comfortable winning position because they are more likely to get saved than you would see with the finesse or the power penalty. So as you are running up, guys, or getting ready to do the run-up and power-up of the shot, you would hold the L1 or the LB button on your Xbox or PlayStation controller, uh, which is on the left-hand side at the top, and uh, then you would hold that, guys, and power up your chip penalty. Obviously, if you are doing it a little bit, then it's going to go a little bit more lower and uh, would struggle to reach the goal, so a little bit more power. It, mainly between the two bars and the three bars, guys, you get a little bit of height on it and it could creep into the left or the right. Now, the only problem with this penalty is, guys, if the keeper stands still and does not dive, he is going to save it. But if your keeper dives to the left but you shoot right, it's going to look really, really nice, as you'll see in this penalty in a second. So, as I previously warned you guys, only do this if you're in a really, really comfortable situation or you're playing against a friend and you don't really care about the score because this one is... It's a difficult penalty to pull off. Practice makes perfect. That's what the skill games are for. So now we are going to add some variation to your penalties. In the penalties, apart from the one you've just seen, we are usually just running up, hitting the ball, and it going into the back of the net. But you can add some variety to maybe help you uh, outdo your opponent when it comes to saving the penalties and uh, add some variation to it and different animations of shooting as well. So the first thing we're going to look at, guys, is the stutter penalty, a penalty which I really like using in FIFA 17. If you're running up after the shot has been pressed and you're now aiming left right or middle you then have the chance to use some other buttons if you press the lt or the l2 button on your gamepad you will do a little stutter halfway through your run-up you can even do it a few times as well depending on how many times you want to try and uh, outdo your opponent he thinks the shot may be hit then so he may move to the left or move to the right and then it gives away the keeper position usually um, sometimes people are really confident with it and uh, the stutter penalty doesn't work but if you guys learn to master this in the skill games you should be pretty good so you've powered up a normal penalty regardless whether it's a finesse a power or a chip you've then locked on and you're ready to do the aiming with the left analog stick so this is where you're looking to aim it left or right get it into the back of the net and then halfway through the run up guys you will tap LT or L2 and that will do a little stutter as you guys will see on the screen now 
And the final part of penalties, guys, it's more about positioning this time round. This is where you can move Cristiano Ronaldo or any player that you've selected to take your penalty. Um, you can move him more central, you can move him back to left, you can move him backwards, and that is all done through your right analog stick on your gamepad. This is if you pull back on it, um, so you're pulling it down, then your player will take a few steps back. If you move it to the right hand side, your player will move to the right, and if you move it to the left hand side, he will move to the left. This one you can find a more perfect penalty for you, uh, which is obviously more suited to your game style, and also it can offer different animations when taking the penalty as well and could maybe help take away some of the tells you have got when taking penalties so with that in mind guys and i did mention the word tells literally in fifa if you go back and watch the video and watch all the penalties which were taken guys you can see which way i was maybe going to aim with the head of the player the head of the player gives away which position the um the run-up arrow is selected. So if you're going left, Ronaldo will be looking left. If you're going right, Ronaldo will be looking right. If he's looking central, he will be central. If you're wiggling the stick and not decide on your... Um your position of the shot yet then you'll see his head move left to right left to right like he's nodding so that's an important fact to remember I really hope that this penalty tutorial has helped you in some way um, to maybe try and master penalties I will definitely do, be doing a lot more work when it comes to the game itself to make sure that I am 100% better than I was in FIFA 17 and these were the basic penalties and the basic techniques that I wanted to bring to you guys to hopefully get them one or two extra important goals in your games whether it be in foot champions whether it be offline, whether it be any game mode that you guys do desire to play in FIFA 18, uh, but I've really enjoyed bringing you this video. So if you have guys, leave a like rating, share the video with your friends as well, and remember, you only get better by learning, and the only way you can do that guys, is by watching tutorials, keeping an eye out, and loads of practice on the game itself. <laughs>